Hi, I'm Heggy, and today I'm going to show you a free software you can use to probe a contoured surface and engrave or mill uh, that surface. Uh, so here's a project I just finished this last week. Uh, this was a deck that uh, I pressed and then I probed this contour and then engraved uh, this design into it. Uh, and here's one other one I did earlier this week. Um, this was kind of an artboard I made. Um, it's an 18-ply skateboard that I milled down and followed the contour of the board. And uh, as you can see, uh, the shape of the board is still there, um, but you kind of get this cool 3D chupacabra. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and show you the uh, software. All right, we're back in my lab. Um, and uh, sorry, I don't have screen capture working right now on this computer, but uh, I think it's looking pretty all right through the iPhone right now so we can get by. Um, so this is where you can download G-Code Ripper. Go to scorchworks.com. This is an awesome free little program you can use. Um, there's a manual on here as well. And you really don't need anything um, that costs a lot of money to use this um, software. Uh, if you have a digitizing probe, uh, that's really awesome. Um, or you can buy a probe online. Uh, what I did just to do this is I just used some micro switches, uh, something similar to this. And the very first time I used this, I just duct taped a micro switch onto a stick and they would just go and click. And that was my probing function. Um, okay, real quick, I just thought I'd show you the probe I was using for those last projects. Um, I still haven't bit the bullet and bought myself a nice probe. Uh, this is actually just something I 3D printed here in the workshop. It's just a micro switch, a nail, and a magnet. Um, this is kind of my little setup for it. And just clip it right in here and uh, as I'm working it stays right out of the way but when I want to use it I can just drop my probe down clip in the wires and it's ready to go uh, probably doesn't have the tightest of tolerances but uh, if you just want to get started this could be an option for you okay we're back at the computer um, here's a little message I'm going to uh, engrave uh, as our test here for the tutorial uh, so I'm using CamBam as my cam software, and I just finished doing my machining, telling how deep it's going to go. So it's only going to cut about 0.7 of a millimeter depth, uh, but follow the contour of a board. So we'll go out of here and we'll open our G-Code Ripper. As you see, it's already open on the screen. And I can go up, open the G-Code file, and um, where did I put it, of course? Um, here we go, G-Ripper tutorial, and we'll open that up, and boom, there's our message. And um, now we need to go in and put our settings. So right now, uh, it kind of automatically set where it has one, two, three, three. So we have uh, nine points that it's going to probe. But uh, since this is going to be a pretty contoured piece, I think I'm going to add in a few more probing spots. Uh, so over here on the right side is uh, the auto probe properties. Um, these first three are your offsets for your probe. And I'm going to show you how to set that up here in a second. Um, but first, we can go in and set these next several ones. So probe Z safe is how high you want the probe to travel over your workpiece. Uh, if you have a very uh, contoured piece of wood, you may need to put this quite high. I'm going to put mine at 20 millimeters. Uh, my probe depth, I'm going to do at negative 15. Uh, probe feed, I'm going to do it at 1,000 millimeters a minute. And now we need to set our points. Uh, so our points right here, the X and the Y, uh, these are how many probing points you're going to have. Um, I'm going back here and I'm going to add more probing points because our board is quite contoured. Um, so I'm going to add 12 for the X and 12 for the Y. Go ahead and hit enter and you'll see that there's a lot more probing points now on that uh, screen. Okay, so now we're going to cover how to set the offset of the probe. Uh, so right now I've zeroed my machine to this little mark on the board and I'm going to go ahead and drive up, drop my probe down, take it to that same mark. From there, I can use my coordinates to uh, tell me what the offset is from the probe. And there, I hit that mark, and I drop it a little lower, and uh, we should be all set. If you're going to use the same bit every time, you don't have to do that because you'll know the exact distance here. Uh, but I'm constantly changing my bits, so uh, this is my method. Okay, we're back at the computer, and I've got Mach 3 open. Uh, right up here is our coordinates from where our probe is at uh, compared to the zeroing point. So we can go ahead and open our G-Code Ripper. Uh, I got it right here. And enter these machine coordinates right over here in our offset. Uh, so for X, we have 61.816, 51.276, and 63.447. And at this point, 
we're all set to go. I'll hit enter so it recalculates. And then we'll come down here to save G-code probe and cut. And we are all ready to run this first file. All right, we're back at Mach 3. We're gonna go ahead and load our G-code, which I just did. <clears throat> you see it right here. And at this point, we're pretty much all set to go. You're gonna click cycle start like you usually do, but it does need to save this file. Um, so I'm going to save that as a text file. And I'm gonna save that as a text file right, right here. I'm gonna replace it, yep. And we are all good to go. Let's go move the camera next to the machine. Okay, it's go time. Go ahead and start her up. All right, and there's the finished product. Uh, you can see it engraved following this contour just fine. Um, I should have gone a little deeper. You can barely see it, but it says subscribe to Heggie's Lab on YouTube or check out comingaboards.com. I hope this video was helpful to you, and uh, you'll be able to start playing with some probes and G-Code Ripper.